what's going on guys welcome to the channel today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about the toe cut system and how to use it and do you need it all right guys so when talking about the toe cut I'm talking about sanding blocks now these blocks are not what you normally see this is about an inch by an inch and a quarter inch and a half um, you also have another it's like an egg shape but you use the you know concaved or convexed over here uh, you add your sandpaper right here this helps you on rounder corners like like so and you also have the longer ones about an inch by about two and a half three inches like that and you have the four cut sheets for this one you have the eight cut sheets for the smaller blocks uh, now the kit this is a starter kit and it comes with different grits uh, from 800 all the way to 3000 so you have everything in between 800 1000 1200 1500 2000 2500 and 3000 it also comes with a toll card a plastic card that you have the full sheets you can cut them in half and add it to the toll card and that helps you out so I'm gonna use one of these this is a 1200 grit this is a 1200 grit the Kovacs toe cut and you get a sandpaper and you place it right here on the sanding block now what this is gonna do so not all of us have a professional spray booth that we can paint inside and get some flawless results uh, so a lot of us will paint inside either a garage at home outside or something like that and what that ends up happening is that you'll get either dirt nibs or something floating around and it lands on your paint maybe you have moisture in your in your lines or something a little spl uh, splatter of water uh, sprays through the spray gun and it lands on your on your paint job and you know you get somewhat less than perfect results so this right here is to remove any dirt nibs or imperfections from your paint so let me show you how this works so right here I'm going to be working on a fender from a silver auto that I just painted with the Victory Red and the Autobahn Glamour Clear. Uh, previously I had ruined the clear coat by sanding with a P1000 that I wasn't too familiar with so it was too aggressive and it scratched it so what I ended up doing was sanding the whole truck again and with the, I sanded it with the K800, uh, same brand as this. So I sanded it with the K800 and I sprayed two more coats of clear. So this is where we're at. Right here is one of those dirt nibs and I'm gonna zoom in. So right here, right here you'll notice that there's a dirt nib and I'm using the 1200. Now considering that I ruined my first clear coat with P1000, this is a K1200. Uh, this is a K1200 and what that means is that it'll sand as fast as it 1000 but the finish on this is more of a 1500 so let me show you guys what this does so I'm gonna get the K 1200 right here on this block and I'm just gonna sand and you'll you'll see the dirt, dirt nib right there so you want to sand on an X pattern just like that Just sand it just a few times until you completely remove the dirt nib so that dirt nib is no longer there next what's gonna happen so next right now I have a 1000 sheet because well it's already used but um, I was using this just to remove the top layer the K1000 again it sands about as fast as the K800 or a P800 I mean and the finish is going to be at least of a like a P1200, P1200. So from this, we're gonna go ahead and just do a quick, you know, sand like that. So the toll cut did was just remove the dirt nib and now we have a perfect smooth surface. And then with, I continued on with the acylics. This is a foam pad and I'm using the interface pad right here. It's an interface pad and I'm using the K1000. So you see the finish now, really, really beautiful, really smooth. Now from here, this is already on the buffing stage. 
I mean the the sand stage for a buff. Uh, all right, one thing, get yourself a microfiber. It helps a lot. So you sand just a little bit like that, wipe it down. Over here, we'll have another dirt nib, which I'm gonna show you guys. It's not really that bad, but it's right here. So this is just to remove the dirt nib or the imperfection from your paint right there. Beautiful. It's gone, so we'll continue with the 1000. Wipe it with microfiber. There. I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out to something finer. And inside this kit, let me zoom out. Inside this kit is a whole bunch of uh, sanding sheets and they're all sorted in different colors. Sky, lemon, lime, orange, peach. And I also have a few more from the, cause these are the super acrylics. And I also have a, a few more in here from the super bufflex. Now these are K2500. I also have the K3000. So remember the K sands. Imagine this, the K3000 would sand as fast as a P, um, I'm gonna say 2500, but then the finish on this is more of a P4000. Imagine that. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with this. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump over to So here's the K1200. I'm gonna put it right here with the interface pad, just like that. And I'm gonna continue sanding uh, just right here on this surface that we just uh, prepared. Zoom in just a little bit and we'll continue. Again, microfiber helps a lot. We'll just do a few passes that way. Few more this way so right there you'll notice that the surface is really smooth so that's all you need from this one we'll remove it so now i'm going to switch over to the k1500 again with our interface pad just like that and we'll continue just removing some of these scratches from the um, sandpaper from before right here at this point is 1200 Removing them with the 1500. Whenever you sand, you're gonna make sure you go on an X pattern. There you go, so that is 1500. Basically, that's all you need. From here, I don't have the 2000, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the 2500. Comes in the full sheet like this. Just rip it. Here it is, the K2500 interface pad, foam block. Again. Sand on the X pattern, wipe it with the microfiber. Perfect. Now with what's next, from a 2500, we're gonna jump over to K3000. Put it right here on the interface pad. Soft lock. Wipe it. X pattern. All right. You can also wipe the sandpaper with the microfiber just to remove the dust. These right here don't work really well. If you spray water, it'll just slide because it's so smooth. Now this sandpaper, it's a piece of, piece of cloth and it's so smooth, it's almost nothing there. But they don't really work too well uh, getting them wet. Uh, these work best dry sanding, so what we're doing so there you go guys I just sanded this fender right here this piece um, all the way down to a K3000 
And would you look at that? Look at that finish right there. Beautiful, isn't it? So that right there is ready to be polished. And you don't see any type of scratches whatsoever. It's just beautiful. So that right there just make it makes it super easy to polish. So what do you think guys? Uh, just sand it right there all the way down to a 3000, a K3000. Uh, have you guys sanded anything all the way down to you know something that low of a grit? K3000 would be similar to a P4000. Uh, now you'll see some of the sandpapers that have a letter on the back. Boom. P1000 Duragold. Whoa. So I wouldn't use that to finish the truck or any work that I'm doing. And I found that the hard way. Uh, but look at that guys really really easy no hard work no hard pressure or anything like that just light sanding all the way so the, the whole truck you know there, there's a few dirt nibs here and there and that toll cut system just works beautiful just to remove all those dirt nibs so this was just a short video just to show you guys the toll cut um do you really need this the toll cut um i'm gonna say it's very good to have because other than that, what would you be doing? Sanding with your finger or applying extra pressure with the corner of your sanding block? What would you be doing? Um, this right here, there's another trick that, you know, of course me as a, um, as a painter and I've painted several cars or, you know, several things before. I learned a few things, but of course I do it at my own risk, you know, and one of those is, you know, the, these are blades, blades, you know, so let me just open this, give me a second. All right, so this is a blade. What would you do with this? Now, if you saw, let's just say, I don't feel anything. Let me find a dirt nib. Let me just find something here. What about this door? Right. Oh look, right here, right here, there's a little dirt nib. Let me see if I can get it right here. Well, you can't really see it, but I would get the blade and just flat. It needs to be flat. And you just scratch it like that. Now that's dangerous because the corners of the blade can sink in to your brand new paint. So obviously you don't want to do that. Uh, but there are some, you know, dirt nibs or whatever. Um, right here you'll notice a couple more. But you don't really feel them. Once you sand them, you'll get rid of them. Um, you can feel them because they're there and I can see them. But once you run your blade like that, which, like I said, at your own risk... Uh, you can remove some of the dirt nibs other than that just by sanding especially if you're using an interface pad it's just gonna go over that bump you know that dirt nib just like a bump and it's just gonna leave it there so I would say it's worth it it's worth it I mean it's just the sanding blocks small and you could um, it's a starter kit and it comes with all different types of grits from 800 all the way down to a 3000 and technically I'm gonna blow up the whole truck but if your vehicle is already clean and whatever and you saw something an imperfection or whatever you don't want to sand the whole vehicle now you could just use that one just to spot sand that area you'll sand whatever grit you want 800 or 1000 200 1200 um, anything you want but you can take it all the way down to a k3000 and just polish by hand microfiber just a little dab of a compound and you'll polish out that area like nothing ever happened um so that's it guys uh just showing you guys the toe cut right now i'm actually sanding the whole truck i just sprayed this side uh yesterday so it's been curing for the last um 20 20 hours uh this side i already started working on sanding it and it's just beautiful like i said um so yeah i'm just working on this side uh, I started sanding also on the bed, just removing some of the dirt nibs. I got carried away and I started sanding everything. 
uh, so we'll have this truck finished in no time guys but that's all I have for you guys today I'll update you guys once I have the truck ready and thank you so much for watching peace out